same time, you know what that means? We got the fit check. It's a sick Sybil hat, a two-tone colorway, very nice, with the butterfly. And Alpha Land exclusive tee again for the pump cover with the purple here. I'm gonna text you when you get to gym too. Also going with the purple colorways today, I have the wavy rib tank from Young LA. I like calling rib tanks chooch tanks because you're not real chooch if you're not wearing Hanes or Frulaloom white chooch tanks every day. I sleep in one every night. The bottom half, we're going really comfy today with these old school, honestly, probably circa 2013 Walmart sweatpants. These are through the loom and then white bins. Full fit, very comfy, laid back today. my tripod standing up in my car right now. No idea how I got it to balance, but today I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new uh, Legend version three flavor of Ghost pre-workout. No, I don't love Ghost because I love Alphaly, but I genuinely like their products. I think all their flavors taste exactly like whatever it is labeled. All their collabs are literally spot on. So I was gonna try this one for you today. I have the Lemon Crush um, already in the burn but we're gonna be trying the pre-workout today because I noticed the burn in a lot of their flavors that are the same um, is super sweet and tarty, so I'm just gonna try this one now. Just came in today, so this is a real, oh, damn. I'm mixing it in my Mandalorian cup. If you don't watch that show, you should. Baby Yoda, AKA Grogu. Cutest character ever, love him. Oh, wow, hold on. They always put the scooper up there, but the scooper, is actually wider. I don't know if you can even see that. And they filled it more. Definitely needed it to fill more because I'm tired of supplement companies always filling it, <coughs> filling the tubs halfway, but way bigger scooper. I guess it's more wider, wider scooper. Serving size is one scoop instead of two. I normally do two to get 250 milligrams of caffeine. The serving size here is only one, so putting that in in there. It's like a science experiment. Time to become a bartender. Hey, on the rocks, on the rocks. You need something? You're good? All right, tips appreciated. Thank Here we you. go, cheers. Woo! 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 That's good. It definitely doesn't taste like the lemon crush burn either, because that's even sweeter, but this is like very lemony, like an actual lemon tasting rather than like a lemonade, and it's got like a hint of orange in there. I love it, honestly, eight out of 10. Another thing I do in case I forgot a shaker bottle, I keep this and I keep it in the top of the lid here. So when I have, if I need a funnel, I just curl this up and you leave the top wider than the bottom and you just pour the scoop in there nice and gently. Welcome back to another voiceover. This is only my second one ever. So please help me out, be nice. Um, I wanted to kind of take you through my arm day because I find that just so many people really overcomplicate arm workouts and are always, you know, looking to TikTok and Instagram for these fancy workouts that you really don't need. It's all about doing your staple movements and kind of what works for you. Like right here, I'm just kind of doing a bunch of tricep things, medium to lightweight to kind of pump some blood back there. And on my warm ups, I kind of go at like a faster pace again to pump blood back there and get nice and warmed up, get a little sweat going. Right here, I switched between wide grip and, you know, the narrow grip preacher curl. This barbell was heavy. I don't, I guess it was 45. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I was only able to do 10 pounds. And then, again, I am getting weaker in prep, so it's normal to feel this way at this point, five weeks out. But, again, I'm still lifting as heavy as I can, pushing, pushing, pushing. You shouldn't go light on yourself just because you're getting lighter and weaker. You want to keep pushing to try to maintain as much muscle as possible through show day and then building back up after. Here I'm doing some dumbbell curls. Again, another staple. The biggest key with these is to curl that pinky out right at the top by your shoulder. That's going to give the full contraction of the bicep. And then I do also have shoulders, a little bit of shoulders on my arm day. So I'm just doing some side lateral raises because again, my shoulders are one thing that really need to come up. So I'm just kind of burning out here. I did a bunch of sets of side laterals. They're one of my favorites as well as doing them with the cable and my ankle straps attached to them. I clip really well with them. They're my favorite movement. And then right here I have a cable preacher curl. And if you have access to this at your gym or you can set it up, like I have this preacher bench here, whatever you want to call it. And I drag it right up to the bottom cable and I just get the best 
stretch and contraction on this one. I'm able to really squeeze super hard and then when I'm failing, I don't, you know, you don't need a spot for curls. You could just kind of use your other arm for help. Try to find the biggest blueberry here. This one looks pretty fat. Let me weigh that out. Four grams. Four grams for that blueberry. Today, I'm gonna do a little coffee talk on this uh, beautiful Saturday morning. I just wanted to say, if you've been watching my videos, thank you. It means the world to me. If you're new, welcome. I hope. Um, you could take something from this channel, whatever it may be, whether life advice, whether it attains to being in a prep on fitness or just my lifestyle, music, fitness, whatever it may be. I um, hope you could take something from it. Um, it's definitely been different, but I'm really enjoying, you know, kind of vlogging my life and putting my full self out there. I don't regret it at all. And it's been kind of, it's been really fun. The whole point of me starting this prep series was obviously to document my prep because I didn't last year up until my experience at Alpha Land and Show Day, and that was awesome. But I wanted to be able to look back on every step of the way this year, although um, the first part of prep was kind of hectic and I didn't vlog as much as I would like to. I'm going to vlog my last eight-ish, six weeks. Well, I'm at five weeks now today. But I'm vlogging pretty much the end of it where things get fun. Really don't see a drastic change anyway until like the very last part of prep. So appreciate you all for watching. And one more thing I wanted to mention is my team last year, my friends that came with me and my mom surprised me with Team Sophie Shred shirts for show day. This year, I came up with my own logo, which Hannah helped me design and put together. She's been awesome and great with that. She, it looks really cool, and I'm really excited to get it printed out in some t-shirts. I'm probably gonna do black or white. I'm leaning more towards black now because the logo does have color in it. But um, I am doing a pre-order for the shirts. If you didn't already tell me, I, would, I need to know by this week. I really need to get that order in. We are five weeks out, so. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to get these shirts made, so if you would like a shirt, please comment below, DM me on Instagram, add Sophie Shreds with three Zs, and I also will be doing a giveaway for one of the shirts, so all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your size below. Ooh, my hairdresser yesterday killed it as well. I mean, me, me and my dog got cleaned up, right, buddy? Got cleaned up. Tell you what, Snuggles by Zahn Altamuro, you are friggin' handsome. Look at, like rubbing right here between his eyes. Oh, that feel good. That feel good. Going out with some friends tonight, so we got a quick another fit check. We got this brand new Sworn to Us. It's a new brand I actually found on Instagram. Pretty sick brand, some nice oversized tees. They actually fit the same as LA Apparel. I'm not sure if that's where they get them wholesale, but high neck here, drop shoulder, oversized fit. And then for the bot half, I'm very much a skinny pant person, so I don't like them too loose. This is about as comfortable as I get, but got some nice new nylon material cargo pants from H&M. And I kind of cuffed them at the bottom. Pairing them with some no-show socks with my white bands. They'll probably shrink a little bit more after I wash them, but honestly, really liking it. Olive green Apple Watch band on to kind of go with the green in the background here. So black or white could have worked too, but wanted it to stand out a little bit more in the green. So here's the bottom half. Got the nice zipper pockets here. Side pockets with a zipper as well. And then always like a chooch chain tuck. This is actually a nice flat chain I got when I went to Italy as my graduation gift from high school years ago. It's a flat chain, but it's also like the twisted rope type of chain. So it's very different. I like how it's kind of like a combination of both. And I always keep it tucked. Because you don't want anybody snagging that from your neck. 
Run up on the gang, 44 to keep him challenged And a shout out to the hell on guard, keeping all true What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the vlogs. Hope you're enjoying all my episodes so far. Uh, I'm saying it right now. I'm putting it out there. So I have to stick with it. Stay committed. Uh, here until show day, we're going to lock into two, two YouTube videos a week. My goal is two videos a week. So please subscribe, like these videos. It means a lot to me if you've been watching them and the whole video. I am putting a lot of time into it. So full sending with the content. I'm all here for it now. You know, consistency is key. I want to build a nice community around me. I want to connect with people that have been following me and have a similar interests and can teach me things. I want to learn everything. So let's go. Two videos a week. Hey Siri, how many days until July 15th? It's 33 days until then. 33 days, baby. So we're shredded up abs. Cool pics. Then I'm gonna shove my face after. It's gonna be freaking sick. Up at the gym, we have glutes and hamstrings today. Uh, peach pump day, and it's freaking pouring outside. <laughs> and I do not want to get out of my car at all right now. It's like I'm really gonna have to make a run for it. So. All right, it's time to work out. So you know what we gotta do. We gotta do a quick fit check. We just have a blues theme going on here. So I got this OG, like probably 2019 athlete trucker hat denim style. Got the more shorts, white classic oversized tee. There it is. <laughs> Label, outfit, very simple. Line down the back here. Always white. Bring your motherfucking brain. Damn. figured I would show you how I've been making my chicken like recently the last couple weeks I usually do different seasonings all the time but this has been my staple last couple weeks it's been really good like I made that fajita bowl I used the different seasoning that time but this time we're gonna make our own fajita seasoning I've been using this Kinder's carne asada seasoning this is a banger it's got a little like limey citrusy flavor as well as like a I don't know, good taco flavor. And then I'll be using, I'll be stacking it with this Nashville style chicken. Um, it adds a little zing to it, a little spice if you like that. And then lastly, today I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna add this gourmet burger seasoning. And this is by Weber. It's probably from Sam's Club if I had to guess because my dad goes there all the time. Zero everything, so we're zero everything. Ooh, ooh. We're zero everything for this recipe, especially because like I said, we're five weeks out now, so. I started out by dicing up my chicken into squares. It does tenderize it if you're not gonna pound it like flat before you um, cook it on high heat. Um, I sliced it against the grain so it's nice and tender and it cooks faster and I'm impatient and anymore. And I'm supposed to be off my feet today so I wanna get this done as quick as possible. Coach's order is off my feet, relaxing. Sunday, rest day, just cardio twice. Did it fasted this morning. Have another session this afternoon. But first things first, in order to get the seasoning to stick to the chicken as well as it not sticking to the pan and burning, I've been using my olive oil spray, so some of that on top. And then I'm gonna take some tongs and just kind of toss it around. Season it before, during, and after. More before, a little bit during, and a sprinkle after. I'm gonna do that much of the burger. This is bomb. I love this stuff. Carne asada. Feeling the sun, party done, shadows walking home. Walking with a game on. You are my kind, classic mind, and you look so good. Same for me, don't know. 
from the long so far. Getting some nice crisp edges on it. Some color. Here's these. I do want these a little darker and with a little like more color to it. So what I'm gonna do is when there's remnants from this chicken that's cooking better in the pan, I'm gonna throw this right back in with all this and just toss it around until it all gets all the seasoning that kind of stuck to the pan and get the rest of the color up. Here is the finished product. There you go. Great color, a little bit of a crisp to it. Tender. I forgot to mention I did add garlic powder to this as well, which is also zero calories. It's just granulated dry garlic, so that's what really adds the rest of the flavor to it, is the end result.